Hello viewers, welcome to the Desi Mazdoor channel. Um, if you have been blogging or doing any kind of content writing or working with uh, English text for long periods of time, uh, you can double your productivity by using speech recognition programs like um, Dragon Naturally Speaking. Um, if you have, of course, if you have any kind of disability, then um, Dragon Naturally Speaking is indispensable for operating the computer. Um, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can quickly uh, add your blog posts on a blogger using Dragon Naturally Speaking. Um, I'm not going to go through all the various functionalities. I'm just going to go through the most common functionality that I use and hopefully this video will be useful to you. So let's start. Wake up. Switch to Google Chrome. Click box. Choose one. This is the title of the blog. Full stop. You can navigate by using the command open quotes. Click box, close quotes. And then choosing the appropriate box. Full stop. Click box choose to this is the body of the block full stop go to sleep so as you can see I first um, put the title of the block by choosing the appropriate box and by using the command click box and then it shows that uh, it, it puts one and two uh, one on the title of the blog and two on the body of the blog and then I uh, first choose one to write the title of the blog and then later I repeat the same command and then choose two to uh, compose the body of the blog. So now next we will see formatting commands. Wake up, new paragraph. You can put the text in bold comma italics and even underline the text full stop select even underline the text press control U press escape press escape go to end of line select text in bold click box click button, choose 12, select italics, press control India, press escape, go to sleep. So I've uh, done three kinds of formatting which is very common either you will bold the text or you will italicize the text or you can underline the text and in each of the three uh, the various formatting um, I have used um, different ways in order to format so when I did even uh, when, I, when I underlined the text uh, even underline the text um, then I use the command control U that is the keyboard command and uh, it is easy to remember most uh, if you are blogging or doing um, uh, word processing uh, frequently you will know that control U U stands for underline so control plus U uh, will underline the text and that's what I did I first selected the text and then I said uh, press control U then uh, in order to put the text in bold I selected the text text in bold and then after that instead of saying control plus B control plus B being the keyboard shortcut for um, bold um, I instead uh, pressed the button for bold uh, that is on the top of the blog on the formatting bar so the way to do it is uh, to say click button and then it is going to label all the buttons and then you choose the particular number which is displayed on top of the button that is used for um, putting the text in bold and uh, then finally I uh, I did 
uh, italicize the word italics and for that I again used a keyboard shortcut control plus I but this time I used the uh, NATO or military alphabet for I instead of saying control I I said control India and India being the military or NATO uh, alphabet for I so this is used uh, in order to make sure that uh, the speech recognition system is going to interpret your um, uh, interpret your dictation um, properly so uh, instead of saying control I uh, in case if it is misinterpreting the I you say control India so with that now let's go and try to add an image a link and a video so let's start wake up wake up go to end of line new paragraph now I'm going to try to insert a link full stop select try to insert a link press escape click link choose 6 Big Bang official blog link click box choose 3 click OK go to sleep so let's see what I did here I first uh, dictated a text then as usual I selected a part of that text and um, then I want to insert a hyperlink uh, for that text so when uh, the first thing is when I select the text uh, Dragon naturally speaking thinks that I'm trying to correct the text so it pops up an option for correcting the text obviously I don't need that so I say press escape in order to remove that box and then I say click link uh, which is going to um, which is going to highlight or label all the links that are on this web page um, if you have ever used Dragon Naturally Speaking uh, with uh, web surfing uh, or web browsing uh, you will know that when I used say click link then it is going to label all the hyperlink in that web page so that's all I'm doing here and you can actually if you don't know about this uh, then uh, you can uh, search for uh, videos for uh, browsing the web using Dragon Naturally Speaking or you can look at my other videos in the series so uh, what I did was I said click link and it is going to uh, put the uh, put a label on um, the link uh, on, on the f on the function link which is on the formatting bar and uh, you can see that um, my mouse is over it and then I uh, click that link it gives me an option of inserting the web address for that link and I here I used in order to insert the web address I obviously don't remember the exact web address I wanted to insert uh, my blog web address and so I have got a macro uh, for that and macros are, are uh, described in another uh, video uh, but as but in, in short uh, what they do is um, when you say the macro and in that uh, what I said was I said uh, the macro big bang spaces um, official uh, big bang official blog link so when I said big bang official blog link uh, dragon naturally speaking interprets that as a command to um, uh, to write the blog website address so I put that and after that I just did um, click OK and I returned to this so hopefully uh, this has been useful to you um, now I'll go ahead and I will insert an image wake up new paragraph now I'm going to try to insert an image full stop click button choose 19 go to sleep so once again I clicked on an appropriate button and uh, this is the button for adding an image 
and uh, uh, now it brings up a, a box for me to to um, uh, to pick an image from the uh, images that I had op already uploaded for my blog but I can choose other um, uh, options also so let me show that wake up click upload click from this blog click from the Google album archive click from this blog mouse grid 5 4 mouse click click add selected go to sleep so as you can see um, what I did was I was I, I I positioned the mouse using the mouse grid command and again if you don't know how to move the mouse there is another video that I've explained how to move the mouse so I placed I first chose an option by simply stating the name of the option um, and then after doing that I uh, I moved the mouse on top of an image that I wanted to add and uh, this was done with the mouse grid command and then I simply set the name of the button add selected and it inserted the image for me um, next I'm going to try to insert a video and uh, there is an easy way out uh, which is to which is to click on the button for the video but I'm going to show you a slightly involved way of doing that and uh, that will be by editing the HTML and the reason I'm going to show you that is to show that you can also edit the HTML uh, using Dragon Nationally Speaking uh, at least you can uh, cut and paste HTML pretty quickly and that's what I'm going to demonstrate now uh, so before I continue uh, if you have been using the blogger you would note uh, that uh, the HTML is where my mouse is so you I would just have to click on this and then it will bring up the HTML source code and that is where I'm going to insert on the video so let's start wake up click HTML go to bottom press control 2 click share choose to click embed choose to press control alpha mouse click press control C press control 1 press control Victor go to sleep so in trying to insert the video what I did was I went to a video that I had and that was on the next tab in order to go to the next tab that is the second tab in uh, Google Chrome I used the keyboard shortcut control 2 and um, I, I just said press control 2 and after that um, I basically um, I just uh, clicked on the various links first was the share link uh, let me just show it to you first was the share link uh, let me just first was the share link so I just said click share and after clicking that there was this embed link which is where my mouse is so I clicked there and then I tried to say control alpha um, but it actually selected everything so uh, my mouse was there luckily on uh, on where the HTML source code is so I just clicked on that and then I said control alpha which is going to select only the HTML code and once after uh, uh, selecting the HTML code I copied the HTML code uh, then said press control 1 um, excuse me I copied the HTML code by using the keyboard command press control C and then I went to um, the first tab um, which is the tab this tab and uh, that's where I said um, press control Victor which is going to paste the command so now uh, let's say uh, we have inserted an image we have inserted a link we have inserted a video we have also formatted the command 
I'm sorry, uh, formatted the text. Um, so let's see how it looks now. It's obviously not going to look uh, pretty, but I just wanted to show um, that um, you can also preview and we also want to see how, uh, we also want to confirm if the video has been inserted. So let's try, wake up, click preview. start scrolling down stop scrolling go to sleep so um, as you can see the image is there the video is also there and uh, there is also a trick um, if your internet connection is slow like right now it is kind of slow for me so instead of waiting for the old page to load and then um, saying page down or page up, I just, while the page is loading, I say start scrolling down and uh, then it will start uh, scrolling down and then I have I don't have to wait for the entire page to load. Uh, the, uh, the, the page up and page down commands uh, will, uh, will work only when the page is loaded. So this is a, uh, this is a kind of a tip to accelerate uh, and improve your productivity. Uh, in any case, as you've seen, the image has been added, um, the, the video has been added. Uh, now let's uh, just uh, try to go and uh, look at the various options that are provided with the blog and let's try to fill them up and that would be the last thing. So let's try again, wake up, wake up, press control 1, click options click don't allow click allow choose one go to sleep so as you can see you can navigate to the options part in the blogger um, just by saying click options and uh, uh, and then you go to the sub options by again saying the name of the uh, sub options and if there is any ambiguity like when I said click allow and uh, dragon uh, was confused whether I wanted to say don't allow or I wanted to say allow so it asked me uh, which option I wanted and then I said I want the first option um, now let's just quickly fill up all the other options or at least uh, let's see what the other options are um, so wake up wake up click search description uh, this is where you add a description about your blog full stop click labels click accessibility delete that click link choose nine click done go to sleep so um, as you can see I was able to successfully put in the search description without any problem but when I tried to put the labels and I said click accessibility it uh, misinterpreted my command so uh, the next time I don't want to waste time trying to trying to make sure that uh, dragon interprets whatever I'm dictating properly so I just use the fallback which is I just said click link and then it is going to link uh, it is going to highlight all the labels that I have because these are hypertext hyperlinks excuse me and uh, then I just said I just chose the label uh, which was accessibility and this is another way I was able to uh, uh, choose labels for my blog so this is the same way you can also do the schedule and permalink and location I'm not going to go into that um, just because I just want to save you some time I just wanted to give you uh, an, uh, an overview of how quickly you can do these things um, and uh, that's about it I'm just going to uh, just publish it if I need or save or preview and uh, that's it um, so you can also do these things with the WordPress blog the commands are almost the same in the in the, in the uh, uh, like for example um, if you are uh, clicking on the links you are going to say click links if you're clicking on the uh, buttons you're going to say click buttons and so on um, the main thing is that in uh, Google uh, blogger it seems it's much easier 
to um, to just navigate by saying the title instead of first um, linking uh, or I'm sorry instead of first clicking on a particular control on the web page uh, then asking dragon naturally speaking to label them and then choosing the label here I'm able to click on a particular control like a uh, button or a link by just saying the name of the button or link um, so I hope uh, this has been useful to you um, if you like this please consider liking this video or subscribing to the channel and also sharing this video with uh, your friends and loved ones especially people who are um, disabled or are not able to operate the computer easily I am myself disabled and uh, as I said earlier in the um, in the video Dragon nationally speaking has been indispensable for me and that's how I started making videos and hoping that people will benefit from this um, so um, uh, that's about it see you in the next chan uh, next video I'm sorry there is an interruption so see you for in the next video um, thank you